Apple iPads and Macs include support for a feature named Sidecar, which let you use your iPad as a secondary display for your Mac. You can use Sidecar wirelessly or connecting it to Mac via USB cable. But suddenly, Sidecar users faced one of the major issue. The problem mostly happened after universal control introduced. Now, Sidecar connection is really unstable. After connecting the iPad to Mac, Sidecar displays freezes within 20 seconds of use. Rebooting both devices or reconnecting iPad with Mac, disabling security on iPad or Mac, turning Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off and back on not fix this issue. Most of the people said, why the connection working perfectly? In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you some simple solution to fix this issue. Solution 1. Connect your iPad to Mac via USB cable. Make sure disable both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on your iPad. Solution 2. Disable screen lock on your iPad via settings, display and brightness, auto lock, set it to never. Solution 3. Reboot your iPad. Sometimes temporarily it fix the issue. Solution 4. If you are just mirror your Mac screen on your iPad, follow this fix. If you are using macOS Ventura, go to System Settings, Displays, Advanced, and uncheck Allow your pointer and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad, and click Done. If you are using old version of macOS on your Mac, go to Device Preference, select Universal Control, and uncheck Allow your pointer and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad. But if you want to use your iPad as a secondary display, you have to re-enable this feature. Solution 5. When you are using iPad, hook up it with power source or power bank. Solution 6. Go to the menu bar and click on the sidecar airplay icon. Then click show hide touch bar. It will refresh the connection and your iPad should come back on. Solution 7. Disconnect and reconnect your Mac. Solution 8. Reset your iPad network settings and reconnect the same Wi-Fi your Mac connector. Solution 9. Try to lock screen rotation. Solution 10. Update to the latest iOS version. Solution 11. Use third-party software to get second display feature until this problem fully solved. Use third-party software like AstroPad, do a display to get second display feature. If you knew any other solutions, do let us via comment. I hope this video is really helpful for you. If you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe our iPhone Topics YouTube channel.